sitting on her front porch, just an old friend and me. Drink a little coffee, read all the local news, talk a little gossip every now and then. Smell that ham cooking in the kitchen, a brand new sunrise in the sky. Sitting on her front porch, minding all your business. What a way to make the day go by. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And good Tuesday morning and Cindy Waters, I got to tell you, honey, you got me good, real good. I'm coming across the railroad track, downtown Alexander City. Got my in the day. dark of the in night. In the dark of the night or morning. And then, and then I, all of a sudden I hear and I see somebody hanging out the window. Who loves you, baby? And it was Cindy Waters. I ain't going to lie mm. about it. You got me good. Terry Mitchell with us today. Good morning. I am Terry Mitchell. It's great to be with you. Kenny's a bit shook up, so you go out to work joking. with him for a few minutes. He came in early this morning all shook up, <laughs> and it wasn't like he was singing an Elvis TV. But I got I got to tell you, I laughed. Cindy, you got him, baby. After I, you scared the heck out of me. I laughed all the way to the station. So cheers to you, honey. You got it. Reverend John Hill, good Tuesday morning to you, buddy. How you doing, man? Man, doing it's good. It's not just Tuesday. It's Holy Tuesday. Tell, tell folks That's what right. Holy Tuesday. I know this is uh, Easter week, and I know there's uh, a, a lot of uh, days that mean something that lead up to Easter, but tell what, folks what Holy Tuesday is, buddy. You know, uh, in my understanding of it is, it's just is the Tuesday of Holy Week is the Tuesday leading up. Is you know a lot of things happen in the week that Jesus was crucified. Right. You know, he went from he went from uh, entering a, in triumph, uh, people shouting out Hosanna, laying palm leaves in the street, and by the end of the week they were shouting, "Crucify him! Crucify him!" Uh, now a lot of that was done because he really upset the apple cart of the of the people in charge, and uh, and he really got under their skin to the point that they had to do something with him uh, because he was really just uh, flipping over tables and, um, and and really calling them to task, and uh, and so. But as we go throughout this week, we remember the steps that he took. We remember the things that he did that week. Um, and so um, I'm excited to tell you today that uh, I'm actually uh, uh, Rob Eiler from St. James. Right. Has asked me to come, and he invites pastors all throughout the week uh, on Holy Week yes, sir. to come to St. James and to... Uh, bring the message at noon, and today he he has invited me to come uh, to uh, bring the message at the uh, noon time, and they go. It lasts for about thirty minutes, so people can get there in their lunch time and uh, and come worship, and uh, then get back to work on time. I know I was talking to my, my my friend David Mitchell yesterday, and he went yesterday, and Emerson Ware spoke yesterday. So you're there today, and and they do it through Thursday, I believe. That's correct. Yes, and and, and that's that's a, a just an absolutely beautiful uh, church. Uh, they've done a lot of work on the outside on South Central. So uh, make sure you put that on your things to do. And I think they feed you after. So 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 it, it gives you it, it gives you incentive for the day. Absolutely. You know, you talk about everything that led up to the man upstairs crucifixion. They show sure turned on him in a hurry, didn't they? Yeah. Oh, uh, but you know what? Don't we do that, Kenny? Uh, you, you're exactly right. You're exactly right. Uh, and so, um, uh, you know, it's very easy to sit here um, with 2,000 years behind us and condemn them. Right. But if we really take a hard look at our own lives, um, uh, don't we condemn Christ to the cross each and every day? 
yep. uh, our sins and our life. Yep. Mm-hmm. And that's who so goes. He, he died for us. And so we're, we're no better than those ones who went from cheering him on Sunday to those shouting crucify him on Friday. You're exactly oh. right. You're exactly right. That just kind of sums up all of us. That's not just a, f- a few of us. That's all of us. Now, that's all of us. That, that, that's, that's preachers and doctors and dentists and the construction workers and the road crews out on the road. Uh, it runs the gamut. Thank you. Uh, you know, I, I know you've come to do the thought for the day, but th- that was pretty good thought for the day right there. That, 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 you kind of summed it up for us, but I tell you what we will do. We will turn it over to you for the thought for the day. But, but thank you for those, uh, thank you for those uh, kind, uh, educating words, there, my friend. Well, you're welcome. You're welcome. That's all God. That's not me. I know. I understand. So, I understand. I, I'm not that smart, Kenny. <laughs> I'm just the old boy from Mississippi, man. <laughs> we're, we're glad that old boy from Mississippi is... Uh, uh, here in Alexander City with his family, and uh, w- one more thing, Veritas, is that? Are y'all wide open these days? We are wide open, man. Good, good. And I, I'm going to tell you what God is blessing uh, Veritas, and uh, you know, there's some things that have come down from the legislature that I'd love to come on and talk about one day uh, uh, about the Choose Plan that yeah. is now law. That's right. You're, 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 in fact, you're on my uh, list of folks to talk to today about that probably mid to late April. Uh, so I, I'll, I'll, I'll be in touch with you today because I'll be anxious to hear all about that. Yeah, that'd be great. All right, my friend, right. we'll turn it over to you right now for the thought of the day, buddy. Let's talk about God. Yes, According sir. to plan, Isaiah 53.10 says, But it was the Lord's good plan to crush him and cause him grief. And yet when his life is made an offering for sin, he will have many descendants. You know, it seems like every time we turn around, another high-profile trial is underway. But the most important trial in human history took place in the first century. It was the greatest travesty of justice this world has ever seen. And its impact continues to this very day. It was when God went on trial. As Jesus prayed in the Garden of Gethsemane, a large military force led by Judas came to arrest him. Peter, in the last minute effort tried to save the Lord and he pulled out a sword and he cut the ear of the high priest's servant many uh, of whom Jesus promptly healed that by the way was the last miracle Jesus performed before his death and resurrection Jesus first took uh, the soldiers first took Jesus to Emmaus a high priest and he was the high, uh, the father-in-law of Caiaphas the high priest at the time uh, but Aeneas was a shadowy, godlike figure, and he was the one in control. Aeneas had a score to settle with Jesus. Earlier, Jesus had gone into the temple and turned the merchant's tables over, saying, The scripture declared, My house, my temple will be called a house of prayer for all nations, but you have turned it into a den of thieves. Jesus did this not once, but twice. And Aeneas controlled those tables. In fact, they were known as the booths of Aeneas. He was ripping off God's people, and Jesus was bad for his business. So Aeneas bound Jesus, sent him to the ruling high priest, and condemned Jesus to death and sent him to Pilate for execution. In the midst of all this, they beat Jesus and put him in chains. Within 12 hours of his arrest, Christ was beaten, bloodied beyond human recognition, hanging on a crude Roman cross. Satan wanted Jesus dead. So he marshaled his forces and he played his wicked hand. In contrast, God wanted the sin of the world to be dealt with. And that would only happen through the death of his son. Unbeknownst to them, they were playing into the perfect hand and the purpose of God. God the Father declared that the Messiah would not only die for the sins of the world, but also die by crucifixion. Psalm 22 has our Lord saying, They have pierced my hands and feet. And in Isaiah, with written a hundred years before Jesus died, gives a vivid description of what happened when Jesus suffered and died. That was the plan of God. Jesus pointed out to his own disciples that he would be betrayed and sentenced to die. That was God's plan. Gracious and almighty God, we thank you for your plan of salvation. We thank you that Jesus died for our sins and that his death brought forth life, not just regular life, but abundant life, eternal life. And, Lord, we give you all the praise and the glory during this holy week. 
for what Jesus did on the cross for all of us. In the name of Christ, amen. 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 Well, what, what, what another great, powerful message for so many folks. And, and thank, you for, thank you for getting our attention. Hope it's a great day for you. Uh, and we look forward to hearing from you early uh, on Wednesday morning. Thank you, guys. I appreciate y'all. John thank Hill, you. take Have care, buddy. Have a great buddy. day, brother. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. Reverend John Hill getting From our Clint day Hill started. With a wife named Jill. That's exactly right. Let's talk about the weather right now because it's uh, – I'm really surprised we've not received anything from uh, EMA, but we haven't. Uh, 60 degrees right now. Uh, thunderstorms moving in here about uh, 7 or 8 o'clock, about 8 o'clock now. Uh, they should be out here by mid-afternoon, high of 69, 100% chance of rain. And it could be – it's been really windy, and it's going to continue tonight. Kind of a cool mm -hmm. night. Uh, cleared 47, though. I'm, I'm liking that. Going into the rest of the week to wrap up March, 73 and 46. Uh, Thursday, ooh, yeah, 69 and 40. Beautiful sunny uh, days. And uh, even Friday, same thing, 73 and 47. 76 and uh, 52 on Saturday. Easter Sunday, 81 and 59 degrees. So after this rain today, it's going to be a pretty nice uh, last week of March, five-day forecast brought to you by Alex City Marine. They're located on Cherokee Road here in Alexander City. You saw that 81-degree weather. Are you ready to get your boat out? You ready to put it in the water? Well, Alex City Marine can do that for you today. Lake Martin, Daveville Area Chamber of Commerce. We've talked about it. We've talked about it. we got two days away from the uh, uh, 28th of this month, 5 to 6.30 at the Funky Goat. They're going to have a meet and greet. I'm talking about the Lake Martin, Daveville Area Chamber of Commerce. Come on out. We'd love to see you. King Honda Car World kicks off 2024 with an unbeatable selection of new Hondas, available now for immediate delivery. Experience great products, an incredible selection, and fantastic prices on all of our new Honda inventory in stock. Our goal this month is to make it a month to remember by offering year-end deals at the start of the year. That way you get the best savings on any Honda in stock. Need to trade in your car? We're offering top dollar for quality trades, making your deal even better. Plus, this month only, enjoy free leather upgrades on all Honda Accord EX models. And we've got plenty in stock. Thank you for making 2023 our best year ever. And we're excited for an even better 2024. Thank you all for a great 2023. I welcome the opportunity to meet you in person at our Honda store, where I know our staff will take great care of you. We hope to see you soon. Visit our new facility at 2332 U.S. Highway 280 and start enjoying your new 2024 Honda this year. The Rockford Pharmacy is now open Monday through Friday from 9 until 5. They're located across from Triple R Cafe in downtown Rockford. Go by and meet Leanne Armstrong and the friendly staff or give them a call at 256-377-9002. Passion, the obsession that burns within. Determination, the burning desire to make it. Drive, the motivation to be the absolute best. Skills, the tools to perform at the highest level. Excellence. The feeling of achievement. At Central Alabama Community College, you can release your passion, show your determination, display your drive, and showcase your skills to achieve excellence. Central Alabama Community College. Central to you. Central to your success. As your State Farm team, we will be there for you with the financial strength to deliver on our promises. Service, that's a sure thing. You can think of us as your good neighbors who help protect what's important to you. We're here when you need us the most. You can call us 24-7 to get answers to your questions, file a claim, or see if we can find you more ways to save. We have many coverages and many discounts. We can help protect more areas of your life and find every discount you qualify for along the way. Please call us or visit 2048 Cherokee Road for coverage you can count on. Heritage South Credit Union, your community credit union, is looking for the next hometown hero. Hometown heroes could be first responders, public service workers, community leaders, pastors, community volunteers, or anyone who is making a difference in your hometown. Submit your nominations now online at myhscu.com. And if your nominee is selected, they will get a $100 Visa cash card and a certificate of appreciation from Heritage South Credit Union, your community credit union. Federally insured by the NCUA.
The Rockford Pharmacy is now open Monday through Friday from 9 until 5. They're located across from Triple R Cafe in downtown Rockford. Go by and meet Leanne Armstrong and the friendly staff or give them a call at 256-377-9002. Hi, this is Brian Bice with Bice Motors. With our all-star lineup of Dodge trucks, Jeep, SUVs, and Chrysler cars, we offer the area a team dedicated to making your next vehicle purchase a positive experience. Our sales team offers competitive pricing, and we back up all sales with service department second to none. Bice Motors also offers the area's best selection of pre-owned vehicles. Visit Bice Motors at 2133 Cherokee Road in Alexander City. Lake Martin Garden Shop. You see all the, the, the rain we're going to get today and how pretty it's going to be this week? Well, Lake Martin Garden Shop, Highway 63 South here in Alexander City, is open 9 to 4 for every one of us. Now, if you're looking for, I'm talking about ferns, uh, uh, bedding plants, pretty stuff. I'm just talking about a whole bunch of stuff. I want you to go see, uh, see my friends at Lake Martin Garden Shop where good things grow. Right, Kate? Y'all come back here and join us. We got a lot going on. Hey, I, I got out about <clears throat> yesterday. Uh, I went by Randy Funeral Home to see Brian Cummins. Brian, How's he doing? He's doing good. He could be out here for a couple. We're, we're talking about, you know, things are different. You know, with Randy, Randy's going to still be in there. You know, Randy, he ain't going anywhere. But uh, He's going everywhere. But, you know, he's he, doing he's a lot doing of stuff. The, uh, uh, the uh, uh, Ask the Undertaker coming out here on Wednesday morning for yeah. years. And that may change, you know, with Brian, he may come in at, at a different time, uh, but but still, you know, you're still giving folks uh, uh, what's going on at Radney Funeral Home. But let me Good. tell you what, you talk about a clean place, inside and out, the vehicles, I mean, it's still, uh, Randy is leaving behind what, what Brian and everybody's been working on all these years, nothing's really going to change. I mean, you know, Randy's got to feel good about that. He's got to feel great about it. And he's put together a great staff. I've told him that many, many times, and he's a great guy. I talked to uh, Mitchell yesterday. We were talking about. Uh, we got Which talk Mitchell? About, uh, David. Oh. We were talking about hey, different. David. We were talking about uh, CBs and, and what his handle was and what some other guy's handles were. His was Captain Nemo. What, what was yours? I, I don't remember what mine I don't was. remember. Uh, but that I don't used remember. to be a big, a big thing. Deal. Get on Channel 19 and just talk and talk. And is it still, I think we've talked about this, but is it still uh, CB groups or anything I, like that? I don't know. I have a, I had a handheld one that I carried in my car. And the last time I got got in traffic on I-20, I pulled it out and plugged it in thinking I could hear what was going on. It didn't seem to work. This is not local, but this is a... a, a a bridge, and this happened less than 30 minutes ago, a bridge in Baltimore, the Francis Scott Key Bridge, a, a cargo a ship hit it. it. It collapsed. Big, 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 time. big uh, bridge collapsed. I know it's 20-something folks. Keep those folks in your missing. thoughts and yeah. prayers. Uh, but that's just, and, and you, we, we got to see it a while ago. I mean, you yeah, we got to see it. 3340. Yeah. Uh, but golly, uh, it's... Um, that's why I don't like to go across bridges either. I told you you should fly. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't told you <laughs> I ain't going to fly. That goes back to a conversation we had early this morning. I'm going to fly on down to, uh, on April 13th, to the Bradley Equipment Auction. Uh, that's, uh, uh, they got, they got 
they really got a good selection of trucks and vehicles uh, this time. They've already, and it's, it's growing. It's uh, building. On Highway 9, it's, it's, uh, they'll have, of course, tractors, all kind of farming equipment, and uh, even some, you, I mean, last year, I remember those gates. Yeah, I'm uh, still looking for a gate, so Chuck. It's a, it's a little bit of everything, uh, but right now you can go on Bradley Equipment Auction, uh, dot com and, and you, uh, the internet bidding, the proxy bid, and equipment uh, 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 facts. So, uh, call to consign your own equipment. Uh, so that's uh, that's going on, but that'll be here before you before you know it. When I was there last, uh, back in October, he sold some uh, some signs. So if you got signs laid around your house, like old Coca Cola yeah. signs or old yeah. uh, service station signs, or you got a Dean Motor Company sign. You, it'd bring a lot of money. If I, no, it wouldn't. If I had an old Dean Motor Company sign, it'd be in my office or somewhere. <laughs> I, ain't, I wouldn't be getting rid of it. So what I, my point is, if you got something laid around your home that you'd like to have Chuck to auction, get in touch with him. Hey, I was out and about yesterday, uh, and I had this lady. I, was, I pulled up in the parking lot, and, and this lady pulled up next to me, and she said, Bro, you want to do You talking to me? Uh, and, uh, and, I, and I did. Roll your window down. Yeah. I haven't heard that in a long well, time. I put down roll. roll but but what well, she did. I did yeah, I got you, but, but I hadn't but, heard it in a long time. You know what? When I put down roll, my window down, I ain't leaving. Uh, but I, uh, she said, uh, I'm sleeping in my car. Do you have any money for gas? And, I, I, and of course, I didn't have any any money. But I, I don't know if, if I'd had it money. I don't know if I would have helped her. And I don't know if that's the right thing or wrong thing to do. Because where I was, I'm thinking, they got a help wanted sign right there, but but I mean, you know, I don't want to be ugly, but uh, sometimes you can help yourself, or, or maybe you can't help yourself. What would you have done? I don't know. Told I, her a I, long I, story. <laughs> she would have rolled her window up and left. <laughs> no, I'd try not to bore her with a long story, but I've been in that situation before. In fact, I pulled up into a parking lot a while back, and there was some some folks standing on the corner with a sign asking for donations yeah. and no joke. I looked over their shoulder and there was a fast food restaurant mm -hmm. behind them with a big help wanted sign. Yeah, and I, I thought, know. you know, that, that might be a good place to start. So, but I don't know their circumstances. I, I don't know what, I don't know their circumstances. Yeah. And, and, and but, I don't either. Uh, I, I guess I'm always thinking too, or, are you going to take that, that $5 and go to somebody else and before the day's over, you already take it up, you know, $500. You made a pretty good day of it. I know there's people out there that do that. that. make a good living yeah. doing it. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I, I don't know, but I just. I don't know. I'm not good at helping. <clears throat> to answer your question, I don't know what I would have done. I, I, I really I'm, don't know. I'm not good at helping people. Karen Chanel. I enjoyed good our, morning, Karen. Our, our visit yesterday. Uh, Karen Chanel is a. She's a, a good business, business person. person. She is a good. She's fun to talk to. She's she, energetic. Ken is somebody, if you're talking about going into business, or even if you have a business, you may want to sit down and talk to her uh, for business one-on-one. Uh, because it's 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 not a, 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 going into business. You know it. It's not easy. It's not easy to do. I don't care what kind going of Going in business is easy. <laughs> Staying in business yeah. is okay. tough. Yeah, that's that's a good way yeah. to put it. I've been there and I've done that. Liz Arbogast. Good morning to you. Good seeing you. Don't forget about the cancers, a uh, cancer. Oh, drivers I like that new support group. I like that new uh, brochure you've got. Oh, I, I've the, still got the older one. I'm gonna have to go get me one of those. Uh, I know uh, George Miranda, the director of the uh, uh, cancer, cancer center, center here, will be out here Monday to talk about this. But it's a it's a very fitting day uh, with uh, George Miranda and uh, Chuck Bradley both on because it's. April Fool's Oh, Day. I didn't connect all of those dots. I wonder where you were going uh, with that. Yeah. I can't imagine having both of them out here. If talking about April, this will happen just before April, but it'll happen Easter Sunday. On Sunday, March the thirty first, the church on the Penhody, meaning the Penhody Trail, Easter sunrise service at Flag. I urge you to uh, get in touch. All of this starts at five AM. Just be down at Flag Mountain at five AM and it'll be probably the most inspirational uh, sunrise service you've ever attended. Jim Hardy, good morning to you. I uh, hope you're doing well Have you talked today. to Jim lately? I haven't no, I had a chance to talk no, to I him. No, I haven't. I need to get him out here. Hey, uh, speaking of Emerson, where will I go? Perfect Peace Missionary Baptist Church presents a spring blast this coming Saturday from 10 to 1, mm. rain or shine. That's the 6th Street Extension here in Alexander City. Food, fun, egg hunt, uh, and the weather's going to be perfect. 
uh, for that. Also, Easter annual Easter egg dash Pennington Park this Saturday. Bring your Easter uh, basket and meet the Easter bunny. That's over in Dable, New Hope Baptist Church uh, um, on Lake Martin. On their Easter, they go have sunrise service at six thirty, breakfast, worship, lunch, egg hunt at twelve thirty. So a lot going on this weekend, and I'm really glad to see the weather going to be nice this weekend because. I uh, know uh, I'm looking forward to a nice weekend. It's been raining almost <gasps> uh, you know on Fridays and or Saturdays or a Sunday for probably the last five or six weeks. Friday for sure. Hey, six annual Billy McCoy. Oh wow. One shot turkey uh hunt. Of course turkey season just started. It will be March 29th at Mountain View Plantation. That's on Haynes Mountain Road, Delta, Alabama. Alabama. Beautiful Delta, Alabama. We'll be right back. where the fun never ends. Lake Martin, Tallapoosa County Tourism, you know, we, we talk about them every day because it's something to talk about. It's, it's, it's going to be happening for years to come, and it will change as the years come. Lake Martin and the surrounding area will change as the years come. And you know what? We're going to be right here to be part of the fun. Lake Martin, Tallapoosa County Tourism. We are a debt relief agency. We help people file Chapter 7 and Chapter 13 under the bankruptcy code. This is Marcia Mason, your local Lake Martin bankruptcy and social security disability attorney. Mason Law Firm is located at 217 Madison Street in Alexander City. Call 256-329-1313 to schedule your appointment today. All initial consultations are free and strictly confidential. No representation is made that the quality of legal services to be provided is greater than that of other attorneys. Central Alabama. This is our home. It's where we work, where we play, where we raise our families and grow old. And in the unfortunate event we become sick with cancer, thanks to UAB Medicine Russell Medical Cancer Center, this is where we heal also. We have invested in new technologies and expertise so that now we're able to treat all sorts of cancers and you never have to leave Tallapoosa County. UAB Medicine Russell Medical Cancer Center. Compassionate, convenient, collaborative cancer care right here at home. Farmers and Merchants Bank of Dadeville is building a foundation of strength and trust in the entire Lake Martin community. With our modern branch in Dadeville and caring attentive staff, we've established Farmers and Merchants Bank as a reliable friend to your banking needs. Whether it's just a savings or checking account or any commercial auto or real estate loan, Farmers has local decision making to build a relationship with you and your needs. Farmers and Merchants Community Bank. Strength. Service. Community. It's that time of the year again for the second annual Bradley Equipment Auction. April the 13th starts at 8.30. Now you can go on down there anytime beforehand and start checking out the trailers, the tractors, the trucks, all the equipment that's going to be on site. Live on site bidding will be going on the day of live internet bidding now. Get in touch with them today at 256-786-2763. Floyd's Feed and Sea covers both sides of the road in downtown Dable. Incredible selection of plants, stones, insecticides, and gift selection in the additional part. Original store has tack and boots for men, women, and children, gloves, hats, belts, and Carhartt clothing. Come on in and visit. Open Monday through Saturday for your convenience with a whole lot of service. Floyd's Feed and Sea, downtown Dable, Alabama. Trust Dixie Overhead Door to restore your garage door with a comprehensive tune-up. For a limited time, it's free for Dixie Cares Plan members and only $49.99 for others. Avoid a real-life nightmare and take care of the most important door in your home. Regular maintenance can reduce noises and potential breakdowns, extend the life of your opener, door, tracks, and springs, and quickly spruce up the space. Especially important if it's turned into your new man cave. 
Red Flag Pest Control is Central Alabama's best in pest control with hometown service in Lake Martin and now the greater Montgomery area. When you see pests, throw down the red flag. Termites, bed bugs, carpenter bees, mosquitoes, or general pests. Red Flag gets the job done at the right price for your home or business. At Lake Martin, call 888-943-0353 or Montgomery 334-265-1813. Red Flag, the best in pest control in Central Alabama. Well, our first guest is Cabot Barden. I hope Cab, uh, Cabot's okay. He's uh, written another book. He writes a lot of westerns. He uh, writes a series of, yeah, of yeah. books, too. Uh, so, he's an interesting uh, guy. Maybe he'll he, be out here He's from short, Chicago, right? so I hope, uh, hope everything's okay. So, Cabot, if you happen to be uh, listening this morning, be safe, uh, be safe yeah, coming be, in. Be safe out there. I drove in from just outside of Sulacaga this morning. It was When I drove in, it was dark and windy. Is it much? Have you, have you noticed an increase in traffic? Yes, if I leave it at the normal time mm -hmm. that I leave. I left a little early this morning mm -hmm. to, to get ahead of what I expected to be some, oh, yeah. some bad weather. So there was less traffic this morning. But, yeah, if I leave the normal time about 4.45, I left a little earlier than that this morning. Yeah, the traffic is picking up. Good. Yeah. Uh, yesterday was Ronnie McDowell's uh, uh, birthday. Ronnie McDowell uh, got the fame, his fame from uh, after, after Elvis passed. Uh, a song by the name of the, the King is gone, mm -hmm. but he had a he had the he had the uh, the, 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 the King's voice down, you know, and even I mm -hmm. think I think he sang in one of the, uh, Elvis movies uh, the 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 lip sync of it, uh, I, I, I believe I'm not sure, but I, I think he got the blessing from Lisa Marie because you know he had that good he of, had it he had that good of yeah. voice, but he, he had his own um, success in. Um, as a, a singer, a songwriter, he was a real good artist too. Uh, I know he painted uh, the the famous picture of George Jones uh, drunk on the old John Deere, uh, going to, to the they took his keys away from him, his car yeah. keys, and so he, he went, they forgot about my old John Deere. Yeah, so he went, uh, but he uh, but he was a uh, uh, through Mitch Sneed, and Mitch Sneed's uh, wife or uh, uh, widow uh, contacted me yesterday, said that. She had met Ronnie McDowell through Mitch, and I said, "Well, uh, because I posted a picture of me and uh, Ronnie on the Facebook yesterday." But I said, "I said uh, Mitch needs one that introduced me to set that interview up because he knew him." Knew well, him that well. interview took place in this studio, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. I thought yeah. I saw that picture late yesterday. It was when I was doing the evening show, mm -hmm. uh, but he was ju he was a. I like great that evening show. I did that oh, a few times with you. I, know. I wasn't like getting up at no. 3 o'clock. It was 6 to 7, and I loved doing that. But it, 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 after I'd walked out on the show and John had been kind enough to hire me back, and I was going to kind of, you know, I was going to roll whatever he wanted done. And, and that show worked out good. But, uh, but 6 to 7, yeah, it was a good time. But... Ronnie McDowell, and then somebody also posted that he opened for Conway Twitty a lot. I said, yeah, he, he talked about that, but he told some real good Conway Twitty stories. <laughs> he was a good storyteller uh, about, some, you know, of, of his, you know, life in, in the entertainment. And most of them were true stories, weren't they? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Hey, don't forget about another true story we talked about last week when we had Craig Brown out here with us. The big 28th annual Lafayette Day coming up Saturday, April the 13th mm -hmm. from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. It's a big, big event. Been going on over a quarter of a century, and all the funds go to, I just forgot, oh, here it is, Valley Haven yeah. School. Mm -hmm. So. Go out and see that. They'll have food, they'll have cars, they'll have motorcycles, they'll have entertainment for the whole family. And it's for a great cause, and Craig Brown's been coming on the show for 20-plus years, and, and, and he, he... Craig's a good guy. He has the passion uh, for that, uh, and uh, so that's... And they always... They, they shut down downtown 
Lafayette uh, Alabama too. Go by and see the historic courthouse. And yeah, yeah. Be a uh, good day for the whole family. Dean Dillon's birthday is today. Dean is 69. Dean Dillon's a, a one of the probably one of the best songwriters uh, uh, in country music. He's written a lot of number ones uh, for George Strait. Um, so he, it, the songwriters, uh, the Lake Martin songwriters uh, uh, re reunion coming back up the last week in July. They'll have some real good songwriters, and one of them I'm really excited about is Buddy uh, Cannon. Uh, uh, I, I hope you can have him out here. Uh, that's that's what we're working shooting on for. It. That's what we're working uh, for. Uh, but golly, he, uh, he, he is he's the real deal. Uh, what so? It, it, it's funny because we could probably sell tickets to an event with with him on the Sunday morning. I woke up uh, and I'd been dreaming about. I had had. I was in. I thought I was in New York City, but I was in Nashville, and um, I and. Uh, that somebody was congratulating somebody for being there 20 years at this uh, business, and and the guy said, uh, "Kenny Lane, he, he, he said, you remember me? Of course I didn't, but he was with a TV station out of Nashville. I, mean, I don't know why. And you were dreaming all of that? I dream, dreamed that, but then I woke up and I got to thinking about, you know, when I was up there so much, I, 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 I forgot how many, how much I was up there in the involvement, but I was up there kind of in its heyday because things are, Things have changed. I've, I've talked to a girl the other yeah, day. Yeah, they've changed. In and fact, I'll be up there next week. It's changed for, a, and not a good thing either. Uh, well, it, it's not a good thing compared to what's in your in your memory, in the archives of your memory, but it has changed, and the economy, what the change has made a huge difference in the economy of Nashville. I guess I was thinking about, you know, when you could take a uh, your song and go pitch it to somebody to listen to, uh, you could get a deal. You could go to Sony Tree and, and go upstairs and sit down with the one of the the head guys there. You can't do well. well music Row's the, gone. Yeah, but the the whole industry changed. Not just Nashville changed. I know. Yeah, yeah, you you're know, right. It's, yeah, yeah. It's, it's any, no longer going to the radio station and sitting down and and talking to the DJ. And, any genre. Of, that's of right. Music. Yeah. yeah you're, all you're, of it's changed. It's it's uh, it's a in my opinion, it is tougher to make money in the music business today than it was 40 years yeah, ago. Yeah, you're right. We have a lot of those artists out here. Josiah Rota uh, will be with us this morning. Looking forward to him uh, being a singer-songwriter. And we asked him, or I, I asked him last time he was here, because last time he was supposed to be here, something came up. Mm -hmm. uh, but he said, I asked him, I said, write me a song about that. So he's told me he's written. Oh, he's one written you a song. Yeah, so I'm anxious to see. And it'll debut out here. I, 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 that's that's the plan right now. Hey, I got a place you could take that uh, that last dream you had. Why don't you pack it up and take it over to Mule Day, which will be held on Saturday, April the 27th, from 8 a.m. until 2 p.m. at the Will Gufka Center. Call Melvin Palmer at 256-249-8885 to reserve your space if you'd like to be a vendor. And Kenny Dean will be there, and you can see him in person and have your picture made, and he might tell you about the latest dream he had. <laughs> I love to I love come dream. up with some of the I, I darndest do. dreams. <clears throat> but it, I, I think a lot of times it's, uh, when you wake up, if you're thinking about it, then, you know, uh, if you don't sit there and think about it for a while, you, you'll forget what you dream. Okay. You don't dream, do you? No, not like Dang. that. No, I don't have these... You know, you've told me about coming in, you'd be dreaming you're falling off of a cliff. Those are good ones. And when you wake somebody up and chasing you through yeah, the house with I, a knife. And, mm -hmm. that, and no, I thought, when, you, when you have that I, moaning. I've met a few ladies that like to chase you through the house with a knife. When, when, when you wake up and your wife has to wake you up because you're moaning, that's a good, bad dream right there. Uh, Gabby Hayes, you know what I'm talking about. Uh... You know, lived up in cow pens? Oh, no, know. I don't know. You don't you're... know Gabby? He played in a hundred Yes, questions. I know who you're talking about. He's always got a beard and a uh, What's that got to do with a dream? I, I was watching an old Randolph Scott movie with Gabby. And I just love Gabby, Gabby Hayes. He's just, uh, he's an enter he was an entertaining uh, artist. And he was always the, uh, the like the sidekick of somebody or always uh, kind of the, the, the B, B man in, in those old westerns, but he played in you, a You big ton into of, those old westerns. I just flip right through them, but there's tons of them out there. On, oh, yeah. If you're streaming, there's tons of them. I, out I'm, there. I'm still having some issues uh, with, with that. I, I just. Uh, I, I, but I, streaming, it's easy. 
It's I, real easy. Well, they are, oh, uh, one of them, they want me to put my, my code in. I don't know what my code is. Just let me watch a dead blame movie. Well, you know, I can help you with that. Ryan could help you. I, Ryan could to, establish you a code that what, you could remember. Well, I, why, why can't I just uh, turn it on and it come on? I mean, what, what's wrong with that, Mr. Streaming? Well, you, actually, once you get it entered, you can. Once you have it in there, it'll remember you. Yeah, we'll have to take. We'll have to get Ryan. Ryan to come can by. help you with that. It. Dead blame Ryan. He, he, he it, well, no matter what you ask Ryan, he tell he knows right where it is. It, for instance, we had one, one coffee cup. Well, Mister Nice Guy, and it guy, was bent. <laughs> Mister Nice Guy was uh, going to bring his own coffee cup in that he had uh, used coming in this morning. Well, and, and leave me the one cup. That's right. Well, I asked Ryan. I I'm said, that kind of guy. I said, if you don't mind, have somebody pick up some coffee uh, cups today. He said. Go right back here in that closet next to John's. There's some in there. Sure. I never they, have been in that closet. You've been, been here, here 25 years. And that's a, <laughs> that was your been. maiden voyage to that I, closet. But it, it I produced, can understand after we opened it. It, it produced uh, uh, coffee cups. And so if you want to come by and have a cup of coffee with us. We got we coffee would, cups. Yeah, we don't even charge you for it either. Nah, we coffee. Coffee and air is free. We charge for gas and oil. Yeah, we, yeah, we do. <laughs> hey, we'll be right back. I love talk about Salvation Army because I, I know it's good people down there, and and, and there's so many people that take the Salvation Army uh, furniture, for instance. Uh, they got a good selection of, of really nice furniture. You got that child that's fixing to graduate from high school; they're going off to to college. Maybe they go have a a, a a place where they gonna need some furniture. Well, you may want to check at the Salvation Army, sixty eight hundred U.S. two eighty. Hi, I'm Jimmy Gorey at Gorey's Furniture. Come join us for the Madness of March. Come join us here at Gorey's Furniture. Make a purchase, shoot from the line, five, 10 to 15. That's percent discount off your total ticket. So come join us, let's have some fun. Everyone's a winner, everyone will save. Come join us for the Madness of March, and that's only at Gorey's Furniture. At Russell Medical, we're proud of our exceptional nurses, like Nurse Brandy Worthy. Brandy represents the selfless, compassionate clinical leader patients expect and coworkers admire. Brandy was recently honored with the Nightingale Award for Nursing Excellence for her high standards, sound judgment, and caring manner. Her passion for her profession inspires us all. Being a nurse is not just what you do, it's who you are. I'm proud to be a part of the nursing team at Russell Medical. We are the link between all hospital services, providing you with exceptional, personalized care. In today's challenging world, our children need every advantage found in their education and spiritual formation. If you're looking for a school for your child or your grandchild where they will receive a great education, be in a small class, a safe place, a school where they're prayed for and with, a school where the Bible is integrated into the lessons, a school where they are encouraged and challenged not only in scholastics but also the Christian life, Veritas Lake Martin Christian School may be the place for you. Registration for the next school year has already begun with limited spaces. Call us at 256-537-5004. There's a new standard for the marine industry on Lake Martin, being set by Momentum Marine Lake Martin. Momentum Marine is located at the Blue Creek Bridge on Highway 49 South. Stop by soon and meet less than the staff. While you're here, take a look at our extensive line of boats. Momentum Marine carries Crest, Manitou, Centurion, Monterey, and Rabalo boats. Whatever your boating needs or dreams, the pros in Momentum will help you find the perfect boat. Be sure to ask about our brand new rental fleet. Stop by Momentum soon and experience the difference. Let Momentum Marine show you how to experience freedom on the water. Let's get serious. Let's get Arctic Air serious. You want your car and truck to live longer, don't you? Well, it's about maintenance. Same thing with Arctic Air. You see the number at the bottom of the screen? Call them right now. Let me tell you something. You want to be comfortable? We all want to be comfortable. A1 
one lock and key service. Owner Bernie Atkinson asked you to keep his number, 256-329-2539, on you at all times. Bernie has a complete locksmith service for auto, business, and residents. He is licensed, bonded, and insured with over 39 years' experience. Services include sales, installation, and a 24-hour emergency service. That's what service is all about, 256-329-2539. stepped outside just to to feel all the the wind and it's real real windy uh, you know one thing you have to look for these next uh, uh, especially today uh, is uh, limbs and trees being uprooted because it, the ground still is saturated so just uh, just keep that in mind we got rain coming in here in about another hour or so then it's going to be uh, out here about mid-afternoon so that's a that's a good thing your plans for the day are oh I'm busy all day today uh Good morning to you, Skipper. I'll be at the office today. I promise you I'll be there for a little while today, so we'll sit down and visit. Uh, I've got a meeting over in Rockford. It starts at 1 o'clock, so I'll be there, and then I'll finish up back at home. And Oh, by the way, thanks for asking. My cat's doing well. I knew you were going to ask me that, so you yeah. care a lot. There's two things you care about in life. You care about my cat, and you care about basketball. <laughs> be, Not necessarily in that no, order I'll either, be, so... Hey, with you. we got Nathan Wright scheduled to come out later yep. on this week, and uh, Nathan will be talking about his Backpacking 101 class coming up at the Penhody Outdoor Center. I think it's very important because you, you never know uh, who, who you're going to interest with that to open up a, a brand new uh, a, a outdoor adventure. Event. Yeah, uh, and adventure. we've got you're so right. many hiking trails in this area. Too. And so many folks are getting into hiking. And you need to know how to pack and how to Take the take the nest take everything you need, but don't take more than you need. Oh, Lord, that pack I, gets I, I heavy after taken, a little while. I wish I'd taken that uh, pack, packing uh, backpacking thing years ago. Because when I was in uh, Troop 164, uh, Flint Hill, uh, it, we went on uh, the Horseshoe Bend Trail. I think it's like 20 miles. Does that sound right? The Horseshoe Bend Trail. Uh, I I don't know. I've never hiked it, but well, it was an overnight thing. I know that. Well, I, it I, probably I, was twenty miles I, overnight. I packed my backpack and I put everything. <clears throat> I'm talking about. I was going to have hamburgers. I had not not just a little <laughs> of ketchup, a whole ketchup <clears throat> bottle. And it went in over. How old were you when you were doing this? About twelve. So your pack weighed more than you did. I'm, I'm telling you, ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, and. and Somebody was able to pick that up the next uh, next day somewhere. I didn't mean to trash a uh, horse. You left trail. it for the next person. I left when I left that next morning. It was a it was a, a had me a light pack on there. Uh, well, but, were the hamburgers good? I don't I, I don't <clears throat> I don't remember. Don't remember? Uh, but golly, it was a that was a uh, that was an adventure. Mr. Woodfin Martin uh, was uh, our. Uh, Scoutmaster. Scoutmaster. He was, and then Dan Scott was. Dan Scott hit me one time with, with a big old stick. Probably deserved. I remember. I remember Well, what did you do wrong? Well, I think we got, uh, we, I think <clears throat> Randy Lee was involved in that, and I think we got caught with, I, I, I bought five packs of uh, 
uh, old gold cigarettes up at uh, Dairy Cream. I got them out of the <laughs> cigarette machine up there. I think called us smoking, and I was really worried the next day that he, because that was, uh, next day would have been, been Sunday because when we were camping out down at Cody Creek, I was scared he'd go tell Mayor Francis and Wilmer. He never did. I think he just took, took that stick and hit me for, so he, he, he that was part of the, the deal right there. <laughs> uh, but God, it was, uh, I, I, I don't know what scouting is these days. You, you were very much involved in scouting. Uh, with, with with your own troops. I so was. And stayed I, with them for a yeah. long time after that. What, what's it like <clears> then? Do you ever talk I, to anybody? No, I, I, haven't, uh, I haven't been back to a district meeting in probably two, two and a half years. And, I, I just, uh, uh, I don't know if, 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 if it's going strong. Uh, I've always said, you know, because it, uh, get your children involved, especially your, your, your little ones involved in uh, Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, and some kind of scouting. Because there's so many things you can learn. I, I talked to my buddy, uh, Mike Nisman, the other day. He and I just cut up and carry on. He, he's out in Los Angeles. I thought that was your him. buddy who lived out on the West Coast. I've been knowing him 40 years, and we cut up and carry on. And, uh, and he's, he's a Jew, so, you know, we, we make light of that. Uh, he, he, makes, he makes light of, uh, of it himself. He said he was in the— Archie. He said he was in the, in the uh, Boy Scouts, and he got a, 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 a pet. What we a badge, you know the merit merit badge merit badges. for uh, Jew watching. <laughs> so he's he's making fun of himself because I make I make fun of him. He makes fun of me in uh, in in kind kind ways. Well, all right then. That's all I got to say about that. But why don't you sign up for this? And this is not this won't make fun of anybody. Tallapoosa County EMA, Tallapoosa First Alert. Sign up today. Go to the Tallapoosa County EMA website or call Jason Moran at his office at 256-825-1078. And Jason will send you a note when it's going to be bad weather, good weather, or just be alert. Well, my, uh, I feel like one of our best friends is a, a young Jewish lady, Miss uh, Barbara Sokol, and I think the world I think out the of world her. Is In fact, I would like to, because with, with this one now, we is always carrying on, but I would really like to sit down with, with Miss Barbara and, and get her. She's done this some, uh, explained what her. Uh, what what she's all about, I, you know? Because I don't understand. I'm a, I'm well, a I can tell you, I, I can tell you in one sentence what she's about. She's about everything good. I agree with you there. She's a great lady. I agree with you. Hey, if you missed this last Saturday, we're gonna give you a chance to go back. If you missed breakfast over at the West Coast Senior Center last Saturday, it was from 7 a.m. until 10 10 a.m. You can do it again coming up April the 27th. Go ahead, as my granddaddy used to say, Mama sock this down on the calendar. April 27th, breakfast at the West Coosa Senior Center. Be there as close to 7 a.m. as possible, and you'll get the hot biscuits. Did you ever are you say, hair, are you needing a haircut? Uh, a week from, hmm, what's today? Man, I see it kind of like flipping up in the It back is flipping a little bit. Good, good morning to you, uh, Charlene, Charlene and Ronald. Yeah, thanks for taking care of Diane. I love the haircut and what you did to Diane's hair. It looks great. But, yeah, I'm, I think it's it's either – I can't remember where it's tomorrow or next week. But, yeah, it's either – it's one of those coming up Wednesdays. Thanks for bringing it up. My cat's doing fine, I'll, too. I'll, I'll just speak to you. <laughs> I don't care when you get your hair cut, and I don't care how that <laughs> – well, you asked me. <laughs> Barbara Sokol, I, I, love, I love you. I love you, babe. I love you, too. But, but really, she has explained a, a little bit, but I would really love to sit down on a, on a, on a serious note and ask questions uh, because I'd, I'd have a lot of dumb questions for her. Uh, but, you know, being Catholic, do I understand what, what, being a cat? No. Uh, and I go to mass. I'll tell you what, I do get out of mass. Those two little uh, Mexican ladies that sit back there and sing, and they brought one that plays the guitar. I love them. But I'm, 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 I'm not making fun of this at all. But that's what I get out of the service. Now, I'm not knocking the Indian priest at all, but I have a hard time um, understanding him. As a matter of fact, I'm struggling a little bit right now. Understanding me? Yeah. Well, don't you understand? Ask me a question. Ask me, ask me a question right now. Well, you're so concerned about other religions, and you, you just confess openly that you don't know anything about your own religion. I, See, I, I'm confused. But you know what? I do believe in the man upstairs. I do, too. That's the bottom line right there. We'll be right back.
Oh, uh, boy, uh, uh, we're going to talk Coons Corner Deli right now. It's still uh, not too late to get your three-piece chicken finger snack with potato wedges and one dipping sauce for six twenty-nine. But for lunch today, you will get the opportunity to have ooh, fried chicken, mac and cheese, mixed greens, black-eyed peas, carrots, English peas, cream corn, and cherry cobbler. For over 80 years, the staff members of Radney and Langley Funeral Home have been friends in time of need, and we are dedicated to honoring, sharing, and preserving the amazing and inspirational stories of life. You got a friend. Obituary is brought to you by friends at Radney Funeral Home and Langley Funeral Home. A visitation to celebrate Mrs. Carolyn Coker Starnes, 81 of Dable, will be this Sunday, April the 7th. I'm sorry, next Sunday, April the 7th, at Radney Funeral Home from 2 to 3, and Barry will follow in the Hillview Memorial Park. Radney Funeral Home is in charge of that service. To the Starnes family and to other families that have lost loved ones, my heart goes out to each and every one of you. To the men and women that are fighting for our freedom, God bless you, God bless the USA, and we'll be right back. Whether it's Lake Martin, Lay Lake, or Logan Martin, voters from all over the state of Alabama come to Alex City Marine, just off Highway 280 in Alexander City, Alabama, because it's worth the drive. With the best deals on unbeatable Suzuki outboards, Manitou and Landau Tritunes, and a great pre-owned inventory while they last. Alex City Marine is the pros the locals know. And no matter where you're from, when you're here, you're local to us. Alex City Marine, just off Highway 280 in Alexander City, Alabama. AlexCityMarine.com. Arise is public transportation from downtown Alexander City. Now, from downtown Alexander City, they cover a 20-mile radius. Those vans are all over the place. When was the last time you went to see that friend? When was the last time you really needed to go to the doctor, but you didn't have a, a ride? Well, now you got one. It's Arise. Remember this. It's public transportation. Their number to call is 256 329 84 44. Have you been to SureShot Outdoors lately? Owner Scott Watson invites you to come in and take a peek at everything they have to offer. Not only do they carry the products you need, whether you're a beginner or an experienced shooter, their experienced staff offers both knowledge and the service you deserve. They also carry apparel, grills, coolers, and much more. Come on in and browse SureShot Outdoors today, your one-stop shop for all things outdoors. Located on Highway 280 in Alex City. Grace's Flowers in Alexander City on Hillaby Street has been making people happy for decades. Susie Kelly and her friendly staff continue that same great tradition. Grace's Flowers is a full-service florist for all occasions, funerals, weddings, and other special events. In addition to flowers, Grace's has a great gift selection as well. To send a smile or encouragement, call 234-4238 and Grace's Flowers will deliver. Grace's Flowers on Hillaby Street in Alexander City. Jeremy Worthy with Worthy Plumbing and Construction is carrying on a great family tradition, proudly serving the Lake Martin area and doing new construction, plumbing repairs, remodels, and a whole lot more. So keep this number handy, 205-936-4705. That's Worthy Plumbing and Construction. Again, the number to call is 205-936-4705. That's Mr. Jeremy Worthy. Announcing Lake Martin Medical Center's new address at 815 Lee Street. Dr. Basil Rafai offers services in primary care, provides bioidentical hormone pelleting, and specializes in treating leg sores in the Lake Martin and surrounding areas. Our med spa also offers IPLs, laser hair removal, and a variety of aesthetic products and procedures for your skin care needs. We're your one-stop shop to looking and feeling your best. Call 256-212-9300 to schedule your appointment. That's 256-212-9300. With the new year ringing in, Lake Martin Tractor and Outdoor is ready for your lawn and tractor needs with a great selection of new and used Mahindra tractors and implements or Spartan mowers. And we're not just selling, we're buying. We'll buy your used tractor, car, truck, boat, motorcycle, even if you're not buying from us. And we pay on the spot. Whatever your tractor or mower needs, Lake Martin Tractor and Outdoor is doing business and paying on the spot. Lake Martin Tractor and Outdoor, Highway 280, across from Home Depot.
about 7 o'clock on a Tuesday morning, about to say Wednesday morning, a Tuesday morning. And it's been a while since she's been out here, but we have pulled her back in. Amber Walker with us out here. Good morning to you. Good morning. Well, you got your big button on. You don't see that very often, Medicare. and uh, Before we get started. You no, know Amber from Coos County, too, I by the way. I sure do. And my cat's doing fine. <laughs> I heard that on the way over here. <laughs> Can you make him disappear, Ryan? Well, you, you, you know where the coffee cups are. You know how to fix a vehicle. You know how to do this. But can you make him disappear? Okay. I, I, I tell you what, 8 o'clock, I'm going to disappear. <laughs> but tell folks what you do because you do a lot for so many folks. For so many people. I do anything that's Medicare related. Mm -hmm. um, I have a special focus on veterans. But anything and everything that has to do with Medicare, I help with. Boy, yeah. that's a whole book right there because Medicare is not a simple no. topic to start talking about. Everybody has different needs. That's and, right. Um, it's, it's pretty confusing, actually, when you kind of get into it. You got somebody you need to say hello to. <laughs> uh, Dorothy Milner. So she watches Good every morning, morning to you. Wanted to say good morning. I hope you have a, a great day. Medicare is, you're, you're right, Terry just said it, it's just all over. Uh, and and, and it, does it change? Are you seeing since you've been in? Is it changing weekly? <laughs> oh, oh, uh, th th that quick? Oh, it kind of seems like it sometimes. Yeah. Um, every year, for sure. Even we've had significant changes to um, prescription drug plans this last year, and the next year is going to be even more. Really? Yeah. Really? So we'll probably when it gets closer to time, we'll talk more about oh, that. Wow. Be big changes with that. Is so, that? Is that? And that's nothing you can do anything about. The only thing you can do is just help. Except right. provide yeah. the information. Help to them understand it and then help them to maximize their money and their benefits. And well, and if they're turning 65 this year, they need to get in touch with you right Definitely. away. Right so away. So you can start, start the conversation. That's exactly right. Uh, a lot of people are working uh, longer and longer, right. not retiring at 65. Mm -hmm. and. And so the sooner that we can talk about whether, you know, you're going to stay on your employer coverage, you're going to go to Medicare, you're going to retire, you know, those kinds of things, the better. Um, uh, depending on your income level, if mm -hmm. you do take Medicare now, you may have to pay an IRMA surcharge, which mm -hmm. is you'll pay more than the actual uh, 174 that everybody, uh, the majority of people pay. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of things that, that go into that. Let me ask you something with, with the uh, – uh, with the veterans, why, 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 why did you you want to go so you know, get so involved with the veterans? Do you, do you have someone dear to your heart, or is that just so, like, something that is dear to your heart? Well, our son is a veteran, and then uh, my dad is also a veteran. And when I worked with Humana, um, I was on the veterans outreach team and uh, did a, did a lot with that. And they're an underserved community. And okay. um, Medicare is with a lot of veterans, especially Vietnam veterans, is um, a lot of them didn't take Part B. Mm -hmm. And so they're uh, forced to go to the VA. Mm -hmm. um, and the VA is wonderful coverage, but they lack other options. And um, so that's what I do is I educate on what's available to them that uh, so many of them don't know about. Um, that's that and, and Kenny, that's the important mm -hmm. thing is they just don't know yeah. what's out there, what's that's available true. for them. and. Gosh, they, they've earned it. They deserved it. If anyone needs it, they've deserved it. Look at this now. <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah. There you oh. go. There you That'll go. That'll cost so. you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you go through Coos County and get a ticket? I, I, I wanna, you, you even gave, gave some, uh, some points to, to hit on. Medicare savings and uh, RX uh, uh, extra help programs. Singles making under 22000 and couples... 30,000 qualify for, for these programs. That's the drug program that we're talking yeah. about. Yeah, so um, this is a, a federal program uh, administered through Social Security. Um, if there are so many people that don't know that they're eligible for this program, mm -hmm. um, it, it's sometimes called LIS or the low income subsidy. Mm -hmm. uh, for those that are making under, a couple under, making under, I'm just rounding figures yeah. here, 34,000 and uh, a single person uh, that has under $22,000 a year, they're eligible for prescription extra help, low income s subsidy, mm -hmm. and uh, that will pay their monthly premium. It will um, help to do away with the deductible if they have one on their prescription plan, and it caps their 
uh, meds at a certain price, right. um, most of them being zero, mm -hmm. um, but they shouldn't pay any more than $11 and some change for any of their meds. Fantastic program, and you should take advantage of it if saying, you qualify. You know, yeah, you're, that's exactly what I was going to say. This is just something that a lot, a lot of them just don't know what's there. Is that right, Amber? That's correct. They were, um, it would be easier. Social Security should know if you qualify. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I never understood why they didn't just auto-enroll you. Yeah. Um, Make it simple. But they are supposedly starting to do that now. Um, but the other program, um, the Medicare Savings Program, is not auto-enrolled. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, those levels are significantly less, but what that program does is to help pay that Part B premium. Mm -hmm. So the 174 that they take out of your Social Security, um, that's a big deal uh, for somebody on a very limited income uh, to have to pay that. Uh, I have found, especially in this area, mm -hmm. that older seniors so many of them qualify for that and they do not know it and they're having the 174 taken out of their um, social security and they may be on something like blue cross c plus and so that's another like 200 dollars a month that they're paying and then they're on a very old prescription drug plan which is maybe another hundred dollars a month or something and and for to be able to sign up for that to get that back and and to evaluate you know next steps because if they qualify for there's different levels mm -hmm. of medicare savings mm -hmm. if they qualify for certain levels they um, it, they may be eligible for special plans that could give them uh, flex cards for groceries and pay their utilities and things like that. So, are, are you surprised at how many veterans we have around here? We got a lot yes. of them. We appreciate you guys and gals. Yeah, yeah there's quite a few in this area. I, I want, uh, first, uh, uh, your number two five six six seven five five three one five five three one five. Okay, I want y'all to put this number down because we want you to call. Now, now you've been very uh, good to let me know when I asked, are you getting feedback? And you said yes, but a lot of time, it's n maybe it's nothing that you can help them with. Yeah, but it's worth the call right. to find out what Emmer can do for you. I mean, yeah, it's so not going to cost you a dime to make the call. Yeah, exactly right. <clears throat> and if, uh, if I can't help you, I will definitely direct you to somebody who can. And we appreciate that. Also, affordable connectivity programs that helps pay for Internet and maybe will be ending in May. Yes, so there, uh, there was a program mm -hmm. uh, called the Affordable Connectivity Program. It doesn't have anything to do with Medicare, but those who qualify for Medicare Savings was, would qualify for that program. Um, <clears throat> they should have received a letter already, but uh, those subsidies will be ending in May. So the, uh, those who are receiving the subsidy to, to pay for their um, Internet or cell phone, those costs are going to go back up to, the no wow. unfortunately, mm -hmm. uh, the regular costs. Um, and... I recommend just calling their carrier to see if there's any other type of programs that they might be eligible for. But it's even more important, Amber, knowing those costs are going up and knowing that you could save them money on, uh, on Medicare savings through the RX program, uh, you could offset some of those costs. Oh, for sure. And just simply by making the call to you. Yes. 256-675-5315. And Ryan, thank you for putting that uh, up there. But this is, this, this is, a lot of time with with uh, with uh, the internet uh, will be ending. Uh, that that paper will be ending uh, end of May. If folks don't get in touch with you, all of a sudden it goes up. They then they don't. Do they get any kind of warning? They uh, they send a letter. Okay. But okay. a lot of people don't read their mail. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's kind of hard. You get so much mail these days. You don't know what to throw in the trash can. What you don't. Right. So if you get something that looks official, that's not official, especially something that uh, says from Social Security or Medicare or from your plan or whatever, and you're unsure, text me a picture of it, and I'll tell you if it's trash or not. Wow. Uh, I tell all my clients to do that because there's some stuff that looks so official, mm -hmm. and it is so not. Yeah, there's a few folks out there that want to take advantage of you. Oh, for sure. Yeah. So many. I mean, yep. Don't believe me? Just ask Joe Namath. He's selling it. Yeah. I don't want to get you in there. <laughs> That'll get me riled up. I knew it would. <laughs> let, me, let me give you her number because I, I know you've got questions, and it's not just you veterans that she works with, which, you know, you, you guys and gals are dear to her, her heart like you're dear to our hearts. But 256-675-5315. If you just got a, a question, it may be one of the, the best calls you can make all day long. In fact, you, you, we got it at the, uh, the lower of the uh, of the on the, on the screen. The graphics right up there. It looks good, too. Uh, Good-looking graphic. But I, I, I think about all these veterans, uh, not just in our area, but the, the entire state. Do you work 
I know you're you're wide open around here, but do you work in other areas of the state yeah, so you can? I, I work statewide. Okay. Um, if I can't, you know, get to you, then you know we can do a Zoom call, FaceTime, mm -hmm. uh, whatever you're comfortable with. Um, I'm I'm also licensed in other states, so oh, all, really? of, all of the southeast, Colorado. Wow. Uh, quite a few other states. Do you, do you get to uh, travel to any of those other states? Yes. On business. Can, yep, going to Colorado on the 6th. So. Really? Business or pleasure or both? Business. Un un unfortunately, just business. <laughs> hey, don't go anywhere. We're going to be <clears throat> right back. Tell you about what's going on in Carlisle. Of course, they're located in downtown Alexander City. Today, the soup today is tomato bait, tomato basil, or chicken wild rice. They change that up every day. They change their menu up every day. They change their sandwiches up. Have you tried one of their paninis? Yeah, that's something they've been doing for a long time. Check it out, Carlisle, downtown Alexander City. OGS Tournaments presents Crank for Bank. Win over 1.6 million in cash and prizes. Over 200 tag bass and 75 tag crappie are waiting to be caught by you in Lake Martin. Register now online at crankforbank.com for only $120. All ages are welcome. Fish from the dock, boat, or the shores of Lake Martin to win over 1.6 million in cash and prizes. It's Crank for Bank. For years, Tom Watley's been a name you can trust to represent you. And now you can depend on Tom Watley Law, LLC, to handle all of your legal needs. Tom has over 20 years of practicing criminal defense, probate needs, and estate planning. Tom Watley Law supports the communities of Lee and Tallapoosa County and can handle all your legal needs or refer you to their network of specialty attorneys. When it counts, call Tom Watley Law, LLC at 334-559-3420 or online at TomWatleyLaw.org. No representation is made. The quality of legal services to be provided is greater than that of other attorneys. Hillaby Towers is an affordable senior citizens community located in Alexander City on Highway 22 East. Spacious one bedrooms are available now. Great location, peaceful setting, comfortable living where pets are allowed and utilities are included. Call today to find out more information on Alexander City's best kept secret, 256-329-0552. That's Hillaby Towers in Alexander City. Medicare for Veterans, MedicareSalute.com. Medicare for Veterans, helping to maximize your VA, CHAMP VA, and TRICARE benefits. Call 256-675-5315 today. Ask for Amber Walker. Ask about Medicare, life, health, dental, and final expenses. Do that today. Call 256-675-5315. Inspired by the bold bison, Southern Union students blaze new trails every single day. They press forward knowing their SU education will lead them to success. Affordable, accessible, and locally unparalleled. Whether you're transitioning to a university or launching straight into a lucrative career, a degree from SU SEC can help you blaze your path. Three locations, dedicated faculty and staff, endless possibilities. It's all waiting for you at Southern Union. It's time to venture forward. Register today. Fire Truck Barbecue in Alexander City. Ooh, just for a taste, just for a taste. And you know that we're the place. Yeah, yeah. Hungry for real Southern barbecue at its best? Just one taste is all it takes at Fire Truck Barbecue. Choose from their famous slow smoke beef brisket, pulled pork, St. Louis style ribs, smoked chicken, and more. Complete with your favorite homemade side dishes and their famous peach cobbler for dessert. That's Fire Truck Barbecue, 226 Jefferson Street in Alexander City. And follow us on Facebook. $500 over invoice now at Tony Sarah Ford. Every new Ford on the lot, $500 over invoice when you trade and finance with Tony Sarah Ford, plus 3.9% financing for 72 months. Save thousands on new F 150s and more, all backed by Sarah's lifetime warranty. No charge. Every new Ford, $500 over invoice at Tony Sarah Ford. In Silicaga, TonySarahFord.com.
Come back in here and join us. And Andy Tucker, good morning to you. Good Ellen Shelton, morning, Greg. Andy. Good morning to you. Uh, Andy says, is that the lady that calls every day at the store about part A and B trying to sell C? She does know how you can take care of that. She's not yeah. the lady that calls. No, no, she's that, not. That's, that's right. not me, but uh, <laughs> I can help you stop those calls. Um, it won't stop them completely, mm -hmm. uh, but if you go to do not call gov do not call gov that is the national do not call registry um, if you put your phone numbers all the phone numbers that you want to stop the calls wow. on there but and then you have to check your email and confirm um, and then you go on the national do not call registry so well, there Ryan's we go top awesome of it. hey thank you um <laughs> he's on it he's oh he is <laughs> Uh, that will help stop the calls and then it is illegal for them to call you. But now if you put your number in a, in a Facebook lead yeah. program mm -hmm. or if you call an 800 mm -hmm. number on the television or something like that, now you've given them permission to call you, so that doesn't apply. Wow, okay. So, um, but, they, but they can't sell your information to other lead companies mm -hmm. and that kind of thing. So and they can be fined, I think, up to $10,000 per offense. So. But Amber, isn't it something that we, we've got to do that these days? You know, we, we got all, you know, I don't get, I got, I, uh, you know, now if a, you're getting a phone call and it may say uh, uh, maybe spam, mm -hmm. you know, so I don't get many of those. Well, wait a minute, anymore. you know who I am. I call you and you don't answer. Yeah. That's, you, that's about the same you thing. Got that, you got me on the do not. Things, uh, spam. <laughs> you but, got me on your do not call yeah. list. Go ahead. Speaking of that, there, um, it's a real problem. You know, the fraud and everything is, mm -hmm. is a real problem with uh, uh, Medicare eligibles. Mm -hmm. It might come up as Humana or United Healthcare. Or we we get some that say Russell Medical Center sometimes. I right. get those. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and they think that those calls are from their carrier. And just for future reference, your carrier already knows your Medicare information. Right. They, are, they don't need you to confirm it. Yeah. Uh, they will confirm it with you. Yeah. Um, so don't, you know, if, if somebody calls saying they're from Humana or United Healthcare or whatever your carrier is and they're asking you for your Medicare information, that's not your carrier. Um, hang up, call your agent if there's ever anything that you think might be kind of sketchy. Uh, if you don't have an agent, you can call me. I'm happy to help. This is the very reason we we love you come out here. You answer a lot of questions that we're we 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 we're that, we, to that people deal with every, every day, day every right. single day. Two five six six seven five five three one five. Highlight on Medicare carriers. Yes. Humana and and uh, end of quarter use OTC benefits over and, the counter over the counter and silver sneakers and uh, the Go three sixty five program. Uh, so, I just thought that maybe we might do a highlight on a carrier. You know, mm -hmm. every time I come back, and so this week, uh, this month will be uh, Humana. Right. Uh, so, with all the Medicare Advantage plans, the majority of them you're going to have over-the-counter benefits or OTC benefits. Right. Uh, usually, they're quarterly, and we're, you know, the end of March is the end of the quarter, so you need to use up those benefits. If you don't know if you have those in your plan. Give me a call. I can look it up, tell you how much they are, and how to use them. Sometimes it's uh, off a of flex card. Sometimes you have to order it through a catalog. Sometimes you can only use it in a, a particular store. Um, and then silver sneakers. Mm -hmm. uh, I think all Advantage plans in our area have some type of gym uh, program. Mm -hmm. uh, Humana's is uh, silver sneakers. So all of the gyms in our area, Tallapoosa County, are uh, – as far as I know, yeah. are as part of Silver Sneakers. That's a gym membership that's at no cost to you to go and participate, exercise, um, all of that healthy stuff. And then speaking of all of that healthy stuff, <laughs> Humana has a program that's unique to them called Go Through Six Five. Um, it is a rewards and incentives program uh, where you earn points that you can exchange for gift cards for uh, completing healthy activities such as using your silver sneakers mm -hmm. or going to get your per preventive care mm -hmm. checkups and, and tests and uh, or even volunteering. And uh, if you had, do have a Humana plan, uh, Advantage plan, you can uh, sign up, go through 65.com uh, to start earning those points. If you need help with that, you can give me a call. Amber, that brings up a question, leads right into a question I want to ask you about. If I've got another plan and I want to change to one of the plans you just talked about, can I just call you and do it today? Maybe so. Uh, Go ahead. I know the answer, you know. Go ahead with that. <laughs> so uh, right now is the <clears throat> Medicare um, open enrollment period, or OEP. It is a lesser known uh, enrollment period 
uh, specifically for Medicare Advantage. Mm -hmm. So if you're on a Medicare Advantage plan, now is another opportunity for you to change your plan. Uh, you can change to another carrier, change to another plan inside the same carrier uh, that may have better benefits. Um, or you can leave your Advantage plan and go back to original Medicare with a prescription drug plan. Um, and why this is a, they have this opportunity um, in, in January through March is because you, you may not know that your doctor is out of network mm -hmm. um, you know, until the next year, your prescription may not be covered. Uh, there's a lot of things uh, in your plan that you may not realize are happening until the new year. Mm -hmm. So this gives you an opportunity to change. And, and one thing but it only goes through. I didn't mean to no. interrupt you, but, it, but how, how long do you have to make that change? To the end of the last day of March. Last day of March. Which so. is right around the corner. You know, and one thing on the silver sneakers, uh, like the, the, the plan that we have when we when my wife retired, we had to change all that up. But uh, on silver sneakers, our plan did not cover silver sneakers. So there's. Well, call that, this lady. She'll fix you right up. Well, believe me, they, they tried to, you know, yeah. check and just some. Some don't. So what I did, uh, this is part of uh, for Russell Medical to be a volunteer out there. If you volunteer, like uh, I think it's 16 hours a month, you get a, a free meal at Docs every time you uh, do, and also you uh, the free membership at Total Fitness. It takes care of that. I do it for nothing, but but I, I do appreciate. Jim, you heard that? He'll do it for nothing. <laughs> Bless Edwards, I just joking. <laughs> but really, if you want to be a volunteer, uh, do that too. But, but there's so many questions that people ask. But if you're just out there right now with questions yeah. on your mind, call Amber and she'll look. Most of the time, you'd pay a lot of money for the advice Amber will give you for free. Two five six six seven five five three one five. And again, it's not just. Of veterans, it's or they can they can send you an email or text. You can't they? right. Uh, you can send me an email at uh, amber at askagentamber.com dot com, uh, or send me a text. Uh, my voicemail gets kind of uh, clogged there up, go. and there you go. Thank you. I had some issue. If you have called and left me a voicemail and I have not returned your call, please call me back or send me a text message. Uh, I had some issues with my voicemail when that AT and T outage happened, mm -hmm. and so. Folks, I mean, you do such a, I know you're in the business for this, but you do so much for so many folks, and to, especially to our veterans, and we appreciate you doing that. I'll get back in touch with you about being out here again next month, and, and thank you for these questions. This was this was really yeah. nice. If you've got a call about Medicare, this is the lady to call. 256-675-5315. A happy Easter to you and your family, too. Thank you. We'll be right awesome. back. Cloud Nine. Let me tell you what I am so excited for for the show. Also excited for you folks that get to listen or watch tomorrow when Amber Sullivan will be on the the show with us. Cloud Nine, new owner, downtown Alexander City. We're on the. We're, we just walked in the inside, and you're looking around at how neat and clean and colorful the clothes, the the, the candles, so much more. And it's it's for all ages, and even the 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 China, yeah, they, they you can register uh, there. You fix to get married, and you got a, a particular China pattern you want. But see, they can take care of all that at Cloud Nine in downtown Alexander City. At Beyond Home Care, we provide in-home care services to individuals needing assistance with activities in their daily lives. We work with each client to provide personalized home care and sitter services. Whether it's assistance with bathing and personal care or an escort to a doctor's appointment, each client receives the individual care they need with the dignity and respect they deserve. Give us a call today at 256-414-6090 or visit us online at beyondhomecareal.com. 
The Morris Haynes Law Firm focuses on representing those who have been injured or mistreated by the wrongful acts of others. We have offices in Ellick City and Birmingham, but we have been calling Ellick City home for over 30 years. If you find yourself in need of a lawyer, give us a call at Morris Haynes, 256-329-2000. We would be honored to help you. Lake Martin Mini Mall is geared up for spring with new inventory arriving daily. See our huge selection of big green eggs and accessories along with our expanded lines of high-density daybreak outdoor furniture and complete solar lighting kits for home, patio, decks, and docks. Lake Martin Mini Mall is also excited to announce our local farmers and artisan market starting March 23rd, offering farm fresh vegetables and foods. Shop Tuesday through Saturday and mark March 23rd on your calendar for our spring kickoff party. Music Depot, located next to Depot Gun and Pond on Highway 280 in Alexander City, is stocked and ready for you to visit. Huge inventory of quality name drums, amps by Glaney and Fender, electric and acoustic guitars, pianos, fiddles, every accessory you need for yourself or band. Before you shop out of town, shop Music Depot on Highway 280 in Alexander City. Call 256-234-6767. At CNT Electric, our clients are our priority. For the safety and security of your family and home, our technicians are professionally trained, drug tested, background checked, and wear uniforms with name tags. We're proud to have served the Elk City, Dayful, and Lake Martin areas for the past 10 years. Give us a call at 256-234-0007 for all your electrical service and repair needs. Or visit us on the web at www.cntelectricllc.com and spell out the word AND. Satterfield Outdoor Living is Lake Martin's trusted friend for your outdoor land and leisure needs. We're the region's authorized skag mower dealer for residential and commercial lawns and offer all the small engine accessories you need. With top lines of steel, Echo, Shindaiwa, Husqvarna, and Matabo products that can tame any landscape. Satterfield is also your grill headquarters with Big Green Egg Grill and our pros service everything in-house and back up all sales. Get the Satterfield Outdoor difference on Highway 280 right across from Tallapoosa Ford. You've dreamed about the perfect house, a place to call your own, and a place to not only stretch out, but to grow. Auto Owners protects your house because to you, it's home. That's simple human sense. <sighs> Happy to help, man. I was just over there talking to myself anyway. Oh, it was 60 degrees. I just looked outside. Man, I'm telling you what, we got we got some rain coming. 69 for a high. Uh, here shortly, thunderstorms will start occurring, and we run through about mid-afternoon. Be careful. Low tonight, clear, 47. Uh, no rain. Rain moves out. Tomorrow, and really for, for the rest of the week, no rain. Looking good every day. 73 and 46 tomorrow. Thursday, 69 and 40. 73 and 47 on Friday and Sunday. 76 and uh, 52 on Saturday. Easter day is uh, going to be 81 and 59. That's a pretty good five-day forecast brought to you by Shop Gun, Best Control, Highway 280 in Alexander City. Change it up just a little bit. You know, some some folks you, you get to know, and you get to know them a little bit better and a little bit better. I really like this guy right here. 
He tickles me. Well, thank you. Really, I ain't talking about you, Cat Man. Uh, <laughs> really good sense of humor. Josiah, I'm just going to call him J.R. How about that? That's yeah, what we named I, you a while back, yeah, J.R. How the heck you been doing? I've been doing good, staying busy. Uh, you, I know you are. So, uh, you know, just always trying to get to the next yeah. gig, next city. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I try to reach out to, you know, new places every month, you know, because uh, – I've been doing this so long. I play at you know a lot of the same places, and I like doing that. It helps me fill up my calendar, but I also like branching out and getting um, you know touching a new audience, touching a yeah. new audience, touching a new city, new county. But I, I guess what I'm saying is a compliment to you when those places you played at they invite you back. Oh yeah, that's a you know a good testament. I, you know, I always try to first first impression is mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, you know, a lot of times when I go to venues, you know, I like venues the owners or the managers to oh, yeah. tell me to turn yep. the volume up instead of going in there guns blazing and the customers getting mad. Yeah. yeah. Because, you know, in this in this business, you know, believe it or not, you're more or less background music. Right. You know, uh, oh, I you know, know. Pe people want to come and eat their food and have mm -hmm. conversations. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and the people that are different music, they're going to be, be paying attention to you. And those are usually the ones that, you know, come, hey, can you turn up just a little bit? Mm -hmm. You know. You got to understand your crowds. Mm -hmm. I mean, you really do. Because every place... I say every place, just about every place you play, it's going to be different a lot of times. Oh, yeah. And so you need to, especially a brand new place, mm -hmm. you have to feel it out. They have to feel you out, too. And I, I usually do my investigation. Okay. If, I, if I reach out to a new place, I kind of snoop on their page and see the artists that are playing there that they book, and that kind of gives me an idea of what kind of music that they mm -hmm. do. What have you got coming up new? <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's going to take a while. <laughs> It's not really new, but I haven't been there in two or three years. It's called uh, Decks and Docks. Where is that? Uh, I'm not gonna have to, I have to look it up, but it's That's okay. uh, it, it's a place that I you know I enjoy playing at. I played there once, and they're finally having me back. So. Right. But it's a high demand place. People oh, okay. everybody to play there. So. Okay. And this place you, and, and I know we talk about this uh, every time you come out here, but when when you play at a place. You never know who's sitting out there that has a – they're out there to, to, to scout you out. Oh, yeah. Do I want to have him at, at, at our venue? And that's happened uh, before. You know, I've, uh, there's places – there's a place I'm playing at called uh, Sweet Home Saloon. Mm -hmm. It's uh, in – I would say Pell City, but it's Cockrell. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I'll be playing there in a couple of months. So I'm excited about that. Well, you stay booked out. Oh, yeah. I've got – if I look at my calendar – I got all the way to October right now. Wow. But what if someone's looking to, to book you, how do they do that? Uh, Facebook. Uh, I have my Facebook page, so Joe Sarada Music. Uh, or if you're friends with me on Facebook, Joe Sarada. You can send me a message. Uh, my wife, uh, she also uh, helps with that, mm -hmm. Michael Larada. Mm -hmm. uh, send a message. You have my number. Send me a text message, and then we, you know, just hash out the details. What's your summer looking like? Uh, have you seen it uh, increase this year with more venues uh, opening, brand uh, new ones? So, yeah, I mean, new venues are opening all over the place. It's just something to keep up with. So, yeah. you know, it's hard to, you know, always put in the new places mm -hmm. because other places ask me to come back. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's a job to me. So I'm going to go ahead and fill those dates, mm -hmm. you know. And then if I have a date that's available, then I try to, you know, reserve it for a new place. Like, I have two new places right now I'm waiting on, just, you know, just waiting to get back and forth um, confirmation, so. Are you writing much these days? Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. And, you know, you, you challenged me to write a song, uh, yeah. but yeah. during that time, um, I wrote a different song. Oh, okay. And I think you like it a little bit better. Okay. Well, so. Did that one, when we, uh, I know we go, uh, we're just doing a little talking out here right now, but when we take a break and come back, is that the one you're yes, going to do? Look uh -huh. forward. Yeah. Look forward to that. Are, are, are most of your places that you're playing, you're talking about book to October, are those just you or you got a, uh, you, uh, any of that band, full band? Or? I have. So next month um, I'm playing with a good friend of mine. We've been playing together off and on for about two years now. His name's Cal Smith. And then also next month I'm going to be playing with a guy named Barrett Haynes who was on The Voice. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, really? About, I think 2018. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, we've – being good friends, we met at the Talladega Ball and Works, uh, Kim Smith, and uh, oh yeah, you know, so we've been, you know, seeing each other in passing, and we finally uh, booked something. So 
And that place is actually at a new place. It's called the River Girl in Ohatchee. So let, let me oh. ask you about a place that I just love. It's the oldest saloon in Alabama, the Peerless Saloon oh, yeah. in mm -hmm. downtown Addison. Mm -hmm. Is that a place that has entertainment also? Uh, I've played there um, a good bit. I haven't played there. I haven't played there this year mm -hmm. um, because, like I said, uh, places that have me back, they pretty much took them out. <laughs> okay. Like okay. Yeah, so, yeah. But I will reach out to uh, them because I'd love to go back down there. Uh, Rich in history, but we won't oh. go into their history this morning. So, <laughs> I mean, it, it, uh, upstairs where they used to have the ladies. I of the told night. you we're not going there. Well, right. I, the, I, I, uh, yeah, the. Uh, it's the also a, a haunted place too. Oh yeah, I, I got the tour when I went there. They, yeah. they took me around. Upstairs. Told me all, upstairs. Yeah. Told me all the stories. Yeah. I was like, man. But <laughs> it is really. I, I guess it was when we, we did our. Uh, uh, Christmas party up there. The, the the different stations that John Kennedy he, he likes to move it around, but but I, I wasn't expecting like a I felt like I was in Montana at some <laughs> old saloon. But it's really old. It's neat. Yeah. Uh, but it's it's been there over a uh, hundred years. I, yeah. I, yeah. Eighteen ninety nine, I believe. It's it's a cool place. I yeah. Like it. Mm -hmm. do, do you, when you when you're going into these uh, places. Is it just you, your guitar, your mic, mic stand? Do you use it's, an amp? Uh, so I have a full PA system. Okay. Uh, I bring okay. all my own equipment. Uh, there's some places that provide the sound, mm -hmm. but it's you know far or in between. Sure. In between, um, but for the most part, you know, you gotta have your own PA system mm -hmm. and stuff like that. You probably like it that way. I do. You, that, that's your own stuff. Then you you know how to operate. It. Yeah. You know how to operate it, yeah. and then I'm not liable for somebody else's yeah. PA system. <laughs> yeah. I guess the thing about uh, Ryan, our, our producer, he does a lot of sound, and, mm -hmm. and, and it really helps when we have artists out here because he, he knows what they're looking for, or he talks with them real quick and finds out mm -hmm. what, what you need and all that. And if it was just us two out here, you, we just said you'd you be down. in trouble. Yeah, that's all. I, that's, <laughs> you use a monitor. Sum it up. I do. Uh, so I usually, when I do a full setup, and it also uh, depends on the size of the venue. Yeah. So sometimes, if the stage and like, the area is big enough, I'll do a three uh, speaker setup. So I do two, and I have me a monitor. Mm -hmm. uh, but if it's a kind of smaller venue, and if it's on my third gig of the week. Mm -hmm. And I'm feeling kind of lazy. Mm -hmm. I was just doing two, <laughs> two monitor because like, man, I'm not carrying all this. Yeah, <laughs> like, it's the end of the road. I know what I sound like. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but 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 I, I, I think about people that that do this. It's it's work. It I mean, you know, to get to to go to get set up. Uh, to uh, break down, to leave, because you know, I know you live in Chicago with your your family, mm -hmm. but still, it, it's it's traveling time. It is, and I'm gonna. I mean, I gotta get drive uh, this Friday. I'm going up to Fallout, Alabama, planning uh, uptown. So, in my second time playing mm -hmm. up there, good uh, community. Um, it's a fun commute, easy commute, mm -hmm. but uh, you know, it's, it's a little bit of drive. But. You follow. You said you follow. Mm -hmm. You follow is a beautiful town, mm -hmm. especially this time of the year. So you'll enjoy it over there. Lake you follow that a That's big right. fishing uh, That's right. place down there too. What do you do for? We'll find out what he does for entertainment himself when we come back. Oh, uh, Triple R Cafe. I'm going to let you run with this one, brother. Shoot, I'd love to be running over to Triple R Cafe right now, and I'd take you with me so you could buy me lunch today. Lunch is what's going on at Triple R Cafe. They'll have the big smorgasbord. They'll have the award-winning fried chicken, and they'll have KD's favorite dessert, that fried pecan pie. Why don't you load up for lunch and go to Triple R Cafe? Tell Matthew Reams and the entire staff, we said hello from the front porch. It, capital city of Coos County, downtown Rockford. Alex City Internal Medicine and Nephrology and Weight Loss Center provides optimum care for the whole person. Dr. Demo Popov specializes in the prevention and diagnosis of high blood pressure, kidney disease, diabetes, and acute and chronic conditions. 
Our weight loss clinic offers lipo shots and a guide to healthy weight loss. Alex City Internal Medicine and Nephrology and Weight Loss Center, where lifestyle changes are made. Benton Clearing and Grading is Cody and L.D. Benton, and they get your job in sight. Moving dirt is a clean job to them. Clearing a lot for your home or business is what they do, and they do it right. Call L.D. or Cody today at 256-397-2531 or 397-2532 for a quote today. I promise you, they'll do the job right. That's Benton Clearing and Grading. Lake Martin Funeral Home and Cremation is coming soon to the corner of 280 and 49 North in Dateville. This new 10,000 square foot facility is conveniently located to serve the residents of the Lake Martin area and its many communities. A branch of Frederick Dean Funeral Home and Crematory in Opelika, Lake Martin Funeral Home and Cremation looks forward to serving your families and your communities, as we have since 1900 at Frederick Dean. 256-750-0381. With numerous industrial sites across the area, first-class workforce development initiatives, and a business-friendly climate, Tallapoosa and Coosa counties have just what your company needs to be successful. To find out more, visit lakemartineda.com or call 256-215-4404 to speak to Executive Director Denise Walls. Let us make it work for you. Call 256-215-4404. I'm used to living alone, taking care of myself, Mr. Independent. But every now and then, I need a little help. My kids aren't close and I want to stay in my own home. As close as family is such a godsend. Caring professionals here to help me with all the little things. Taking care of the house and myself, keeping me looking sharp, feeling sharp too. Learn more at asclosesfamily.com. They really are as close as family. Russell DeWitt Center and Building Supply Stores have the tools and materials to get the job done right, whether you're a professional contractor or just a weekend do-it-yourselfer. With everyday customer conveniences like a drive through lumber yard, price match promise, and our best rewards program, each of our nine locations offer top brands and building materials like lumber, hardware, tools, paint, lawn and garden, and much more. Visit today and see what Russell DeWitt Center and Building Supply can help you build tomorrow. The food at Oscars Cafe makes your mouth water. At Oscars, enjoy great tasting catfish, or maybe you're just in the mood for one of Oscars fresh salads. Even kids know the place for a fine meal is Oscars with a great kids menu. Oscars also has great tasting burgers full of backyard flavor. So come on out to Oscars Cafe for great food and homegrown hospitality. We're located on Highway 49 South in Dadeville, just before the Blue Creek Bridge. And remember, it's all fun and games till there's only one cheese ball left. joins i was just getting i got an email from coon's corner from jennifer and i'm not going to tell you what it says right now because they will have a lot of specials coming up over at coon's corner i share that with you tomorrow right you now, can tell me no i ain't telling you nothing <laughs> i'll tell you about my cat jr out here with us now we we, we talked about writing a song and you told me you've written a song tell, tell us I, I want to hear all about this so uh it's a song, I've been toying around with it for a while, um, so I wrote this song, uh, I think I'm going to call it Bright, uh, it'll be set in stone once it's actually recorded, mm -hmm. uh, but I wanted to write a song to kind of talk about the state uh, of the country, you know, everybody working hard, uh, you know, 60 hour work rates, you know, just as they can eat, mm -hmm. uh, and pretty much the premise of the song is, you know, me going to all these different places, I've had a lot of different conversations with people, 
uh, you know, just seeing the troubles that they have, you know, then they ask me to play one of their favorite songs and I can just see them, you know, kind of get uplifted in the yeah. spirit. So the whole premise of the song is just, uh, you know, me, you know, playing the music in the background, playing your favorite song, just so you can, so before you go back home, you know, wow. kind of make you feel better. You know, you know uh, what, what, what a you, theme. What you just said, I listen to a lot of uh, XM radio, that's all I listen to. Uh, and maybe the 60s, for instance, the DJ will talk about, you know, so-and-so wanted to hear this song because it took them back. Mm -hmm. And most times, because that's older music, of course, but it took them back 50 years to a particular time. So that's what you're doing yourself. And that's kind of, that just, you're a good listener to, with people, aren't you? Yes, sir. sir Got to give the crowd what they want. Yeah, you're be right. Back, right. That's right. <laughs> want to be in that smack, so. <laughs> That's right. You wise beyond your years, sir. That's right. I want to hear it. All right. Let's see. Ya. I seen a lot of hurt out on the road, going back and forth between these shows, yeah. Lying men working their cell to the bone The women staying home all alone Just to make it to the next week Make it to the next payday And children growing up in a broken home I've been there before And the neon lights are shining bright like a halo over every soul. We're all working 60 hour weeks just so we can eat. And the country still divided like a bridge and the water, the rich and the poor. Working class and a hold And the gas prices are rising The gas prices are rising And the neon lights are shining bright like a halo Over every soul I can't play your favorite song Take a look your soul until you get back home and God made a girl and man might have made a bar so I wrote a few songs that speak to your heart because these neon lights are shining bright like a halo over every soul best I can working with these hands with a drill and a left hand and a guitar and a right hand we're all working till we're old yeah, that's the American dream and we all got a piece we all got a piece it don't matter where you go Uncle Sam's gonna take his toll He's always watching everything you do Watching everything you do And them neon lights are shining bright like a halo Over every soul I can play your favorite song Take a load off your soul until you get back home play this guitar in the background and the neon light because the neon lights are shining bright like a halo over every soul wow same word i want to use there 
you, you you wrote the heck out of that song. You you sang and played the heck out of that song. You believed you feel it. that song. Wow. But you touched you described ninety nine percent of the people I know. Yeah. And, and, and Jr. You, you, what you what you've done you, you related to to your the people you're you're singing to. Do you do you play that? Does that in your song list every? Yeah, I try to. Do you tell them about the song? Oh, yeah. Uh, So anytime I do, um, so when I go to places, I do uh, primarily covers, but I will play, uh, you know, four or five originals. Uh, But before I do that, you know, because nobody knows, they they don't know me, they don't know my my music, so Mm -hmm. I would explain the background of my songs. I love that. When you you say cover tunes, what what some... Throw, throw me about three or four cover tunes you do that you love to do. Uh, Killing Time by Clint Black. Clint Black, yeah. Uh, of course, Wagon Wheel. And mm-hmm. then um, there's a song. It's not a newer song, but it's a song that uh, Luke Combs does with a guy. I can't think of his name. Mm-hmm. Uh, I can't think. Oh, uh, there's a cold beer calling my name. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I like, yeah, I like doing that one. <laughs> but uh, those songs right there, Clint Black was just a guy that, uh, he, he he had a, it, you you your your voice sounds a little bit like his, and, and I mean that as a compliment. He had a unique voice, uh, and uh, and of course he married to Lisa Hartman, who was mm-hmm. a, a um, lovely lady, a, a, a actress, uh, and he's he's kind of enjoying life now. Uh, and you're do, and so you're doing the same thing right now. You're enjoying life. You I enjoy am. your your job. You enjoy your family. And it takes up every bit of your time. But you enjoy writing. I do enjoy writing. And uh, it shows. So, uh, you know, there's going to be a year at some point where I'm just going to, you know, buckle down and focus on writing. Because, mm-hmm. you know, the whole idea is to get signed, get a publishing deal. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, that's the ultimate goal, you know, making making money just writing songs. Do you have your own publishing company? I, um, I don't. Uh, but, you know, that's the goal. And, I, you know, I've had had... I can't think of the company now. A company offered me a purpose on really? um, a couple of years ago. Mm-hmm. You know, sent me a contract and everything. Mm-hmm. Uh, but at the time, you know, I just couldn't do it because even that they were going to cover half of the you know studio time, it was still mm-hmm. put sure. up a lot of money up front, mm-hmm. and I had to record like you know twenty songs. Uh, Timing is, is everything. everything. Mm-hmm. Time for us to take a break. We'll be right back and we'll wrap it up. Watch Curry Market. I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm excited about Watch Curry Market. Uh, of course, they got great uh, biscuits, great lunches, but they're adding to their lunches. That's the part that gets me uh, excited because I, I, I guess because when you start talking about hamburgers and cheeseburgers and uh, pepper jack, pimento cheese sandwiches and wraps and connected dogs and fish tacos, you talking my kind of food. Watch Curry Market calling you today, Dave Road, where they are. It's truck season at Glenn Smith Chevrolet in Opelika. Check out the powerful, full-size, and fully loaded Chevrolet Silverado LTZ. Discounted up to $11,000 off. Or the roomy midsize three-row SUV, the Chevy Traverse. Discounted up to $7,750 off. And the perfect size Chevy Equinox up to $7,750 off. No payments until summertime. Over 350 new and used vehicles on the lot or on the way. Get ready to smile. Hi, I'm Pastor Ben Hayes from First Baptist Church, Dadeville, Alabama, and I have an exciting opportunity I want to share with you. On March 31st, Easter Sunday, we're going to have a great day of worship just for you. 8.15, we'll have our first morning worship service, followed at 9.30 by breakfast for everyone. 9.45, we'll have Sunday school Bible study time for all age groups. 11 o'clock will be our second worship service. So get this, 8.15 worship service, 9.30 breakfast, 9.45 Sunday school, 11 o'clock worship, and we want to see you there. Carlisle Heating and Air says it's tune-up time for your HVAC system. 
Having your unit tuned up increases energy efficiency and can reduce the wear and tear on your unit. Hmm. Call Carlisle Heat and Air Day at 256-234-0019 for a price. Serving the Lake Martin area, Alexander City, Dadeville, Jackson Gap, and Goodwater. Don't get hot. Be cool. Call Carlisle Heat and Air today at 256-234-0019. Don't get hot. Be cool. For those who missed Zaxby's egg rolls the first time, these hand-rolled bundles of deliciousness are back. Just in time to take a sweet and spicy dip. Yes, you heard that right. Two for three dollar egg rolls. Woo, saucy! Zaxby's. Egg rolls are back at Zaxby's. They're hand-rolled and come with a delicious sweet and spicy dipping sauce. But enough from me. Let the egg rolls do the talking. And there you have it. Two for three dollar egg rolls. Woo, saucy! Zaxby's. Wintertime in the South is mild compared to other parts of the country, but we still tend to be less active and spend more time indoors. Show your heart some love this winter by getting it checked out at the UAB Heart and Vascular Clinic at Russell Medical. I'm Dr. Kevin Sublett, and our entire clinic is dedicated to keeping your heart healthy. We're right here in your own community and backed by the knowledge and expertise of UAB Medicine. Make an appointment today by calling 256-234-2644 or visit uabmedicine.org slash heart russell. While in Dable, Alabama, get off the roundabout and stop in Payne's Furniture. Donald Payne says right now the selection of couches with end tables is unbelievable. Comfortable bedding, rustic bedding, area rug selection like he's never had. Beautiful dining tables, modern and rustic. Ask for about financing. Or if you want to call him, call him at 256-825-7727. That's Payne's Furniture in downtown Dable. Tapley Appliance is now Presley Appliance and Furniture. It's all the same friendly staff. And Mike and Trevor Presley not only offer the best in appliances from Whirlpool, KitchenAid, and Maytag, but now we offer full lines of furniture from Ashley, as well as a great selection of outdoor furniture. Make sure to visit the Presley family at the all-new Presley Appliance and Furniture on Cherokee Road in Alex City. Same great service and appliances, now with a great selection of furniture for home and outdoor. up another day and the rain has already moved in here just like they said it would it's going to be around about mid-afternoon and it's going to be out of here we about to be out of here jr thank you thank good you good to one see you my more friend. time for coming down here and playing some good music that you wrote uh and if you will i'm gonna get in touch i don't have you down for april yet do I? No, you don't. Okay, okay. Yeah. I'll send you a couple of dates okay, uh, awesome. to look yeah. at in uh, April because we want to get you back. But we appreciate you. But like you said, appreciate the friendship. friendship. That's, that's the main thing. As Terry Mitchell would say, if I can ever help you with anything, you just let me know. <laughs> Why don't you get us out of here? <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. Go ahead.